Get the camera set up here. Hold on one second. So we are in St. Martin, and I have this lovely glow because it's hot. And this lovely glow is called sweat. <laughs> Good morning. We're on the Dutch side of St. Martin. Well, I don't know how we did it. How we we did, did it, it like that. Okay, okay yes, yeah, so we're on the Dutch side of St. Martin this morning. Yes. Uh, we took the water taxi over from the cruise ship terminal. It took us about 10 minutes to walk from the ship out to the main part, another five minutes to walk to where the shuttle was, maybe 10 yeah. minutes. But, uh, so we're currently sitting in the Thirsty Pirate, aka the pirate on the wall back here. <laughs> he's a Hi, pirate. Hi, Bud there. Files. So nice to have you with us today. Good morning, Bud Files. I know you would like to be here with us. There's a lot of history here in the Bud Files. <laughs> Hey, the good thoughts are always with. I call them the History Channel. <laughs> and uh, who is this? Uh, Backlash Fisherman. Hello, Backlash Fisherman. Hey, what's going I'm on, so Matthew? glad to hear that we're your favorite people. <laughs> and Law Jones. Hi, Law Jones. Law, what's going on, brother? So, Law, tell me, are we clear? Can you hear us? If not, we'll end the lead, end the speed because you know I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. So there's some music off in the distance. We couldn't make out what it was. Oops. What it was. <laughs> So we hope y'all can't either. Crash, bang, smash so them to up. Touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> I know why. This it. has to be turned this way. <laughs> touch it. Don't touch the camera. Yeah. See, um, Lola Jones says, "Yeah, you're looking good, except for when I drop." Except for the oops, yeah. <laughs> Backlash fisherman says, "Arr." Arr. <laughs> so, um, what they have for for alcoholic beverages here at the frozen pot at the. The it's thirsty the pirate. Thirsty pirate. They have main. They have all kinds of daiquiris, frozen drinks. That strawberry, mango, banana, pina colada, guava berry, and margarita. So I am going to have the mango da daiquiri. I'm getting a banana daiquiri. <laughs> they also sell um, different food. kinds of beer. Yeah, different kinds of beer. The beer is uh, Carib, which is their local beer. Uh, Coors Light, Red Stripe, Corona, Heineken, and President Day. And prices, mm -hmm. let me tell you, the frozen drinks here are eight bucks U.S. money, which is quite a bit cheaper in some places. And the beers are three dollars and four dollars. Actually, you can get a bucket of beer, six beers for fifteen dollars. I think that's a pretty good deal when you're away from home. I mean, you can't beat that, right? A bucket. It's on chilled on ice on top of that. Yeah. Um, and then the food that they have, they have um, all kinds of appetizers and uh, all kinds of seafood. Oh, we got Mark the Shark in the house. Oh, Good morning, so Mark. Salute's up for Mark the Shark. Hi, guys. Mark's out there on the ocean in Royal Caribbean. I don't know how my chat keeps going away. It was there until you touched it. I wasn't. It was gone, baby. Oh. We lost there, it is, there, there it is. is. Okay. So no. sorry, I have to swipe up. <laughs> okay, we got to remember that. Swipe up. Swipe up. Um, so thanks for joining us here in St. Martin this morning. Yes. Here's the Thirsty Pirate. And Mark the Shark, aren't you on the Harmony of the Seas right now? Yes, yes. ma'am, we are. And hi, Sea Del World. <laughs> she wants a, uh, what kind do you want? I want a uh, mat. Mango daiquiri. Mango daiquiri. daiquiri. And I want a banana daiquiri. No problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, it's 10 o'clock. Hi, Cedar World. Hi, Eddie. So nice to have you with us. Yo, yo, yo. And yes, um, Mark the Shark is still on the Harmony of the Seas. And Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Good morning, Elaine. Oh, Mark's giving us thumbs up, too. Thanks for uh, that, Mark. Mark always gives us thumbs up. Yes. And Mark, it was so funny because we were sitting at breakfast this morning, and a couple that was sitting with us said, hey, last time we were on such and such a ship, we looked at because uh, Kate, Captain Kate was going to be there, but then yeah. COVID came, and we never got to see Cap Captain Kate yet. <laughs> I said, we have friends. They, he knows Captain Kate. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Um, let's see. Um, oh, Mark says he's on Harmony of the Seas. Harmony of the Seas. Harmony of the Seas. Right. And Backlash Fisherman says, I'm scared to go cruising. Used to be an alcoholic, might digress. You know what, though? They push drinks like they used to. They don't walk around and go pushing alcohol. That's my daiquiri being blended. You hear it over there? Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so um, not too much. Eddie Lou, the, oh, he's just telling everybody hello. Good morning, Eddie. And y'all know me, I don't have my glasses on, and I can't see this, the chats on the phone, so I apologize for if I'm missing anyone. Um, so, uh, so Martin the Shark, where are you going on the Harmony of the Seas? Oh, let's see here. Yo, yo, Eddie. This is yo, Eddie. <laughs> yo, Eddie. Oh, and so I went to the International um International Diamonds, Diamonds, International Diamonds International, and they gave you a free charm bracelet, free charm, and a hundred dollar off coupon. And so that's a pretty good deal when you're looking for jewelry to have a hundred dollars off. And um, 
here in um, St. Martin, they have the, your ship emblem. We're going to put a video up about it. Your ship emblem that's like Royal Princess, if that store has that Princess logo, they'll give you a discount. And then when you present the receipt, when you get back to the ship, they give you 7% discount again on top of that. 7%. 7%. Yeah, oh, okay. Which is basically your tax. Yeah, so what it is, the stores, you can actually use your medallion. You don't have to have cash or a credit card with you. You pay with your medallion. It gets billed right to your onboard account, and mm -hmm. you get that 7% off. And we jumped on the water taxi and to come over here to uh, Phillipsburg, and it was uh, $8 a person for the water taxi all day. You can jump on seven. Seven, seven. $7. seven you, you can jump on the water taxi all day that you want. What's Lyle Jones say? He says, you're looking especially well, rested and glowing. <laughs> that, and I'm okay, too, he says. <laughs> that glow, was that who said that? Lyle, Lyle Jones. Jones, yeah. Lyle Jones, that glow is called sweat, baby. <laughs> She's glistening with sweat. We've been up late every Ooh, night. Oh, here's our daiquiris. Oh, we got daiquiris. Look at this. Okay, so. Oh, thank you so much. You're thank our favorite you. now. And we leave that tap open, okay? Oh, awesome. Okay. So this is the mango daiquiri. And the banana daiquiri. And look at the cute glasses. I know, like those glasses. Look at that. Mine's got a parrot on it. Mine's got a, mine's got a tum, uh, toucan. toucan on it. Mmm. Mm. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, it's so refreshing. Mmm. Oh, um. Wonderful daiquiri. I just drew a blank on her name. I know her name. Who? Tell me who it is and I'll tell you her name. Cruise Day Fun. Cruise Day Fun. Oh, 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 it's, 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 Joy. 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 Here's a mango daiquiri just for you, baby girl. Mm -hmm. And this is a banana daiquiri for everybody else. <laughs> mm. So what did we miss in the chat here? Okay. Backlash Fisherman. That's Matt. He says, yay. Oh, his dental surgery is Dental surgery yes. will catch up next time. Yes. Oh, man. Dental Which, surgery. Yeah. I totally get that, but we appreciate you dropping in anyway. Yeah. Uh, good luck with that there, Matt. Hopefully, they get you okay. fixed up there on your tooth. Mm-hmm. Because that is no fun. I've no, never it's done not. that. So this is our last island that we that we stopped at. Now we have two days at sea to get back home again. Uh, yes, good luck, Backlash Fisherman. We all wish you well and yes and healing. I'll tell you what, they got a great couple of bands on this ship, and uh, of course we can't record their sound, but we did record pictures of them so you can see them. And uh, Cruise Control is the name of the one band. And they're awesome. Oh my God! They're Jamaican, but when they sing. <laughs> you don't get a lot of the Jamaican accent, which so is great. Lee, Lee Singer's got a voice. <laughs> he can go from a normal range up, down up to a falsetto like the Bee Gees. Yeah. I mean, he was singing the Bee Gees and sounded exactly yes. like them. I was impressed. And uh, is that the same band that has the female singer and she has a great alto voice? No, that's a different band. That's, that's a, I can't think oh, of the Oh, that's the Blueberry. It. No, the Blueberry's the two people. That's the guy and the lady. He plays the With saxophone. With the red hair. He plays the saxophone, yes. Yeah, and the other one's the three men. They got a drummer, a bass player, and a yeah. girl singing. So what did Mark say here? Well, Mark says, if you know me, did you know that I was on my balcony having biscuits and gravy <laughs> with a little bit of steak? Yes, I did have my coffee. So I'm going to be in the pool deck and count me some thongs. Oh, hey. I've only seen two on this ship. And I saw one of them in the main dining room and the other one in the hallway. Well, Mark, uh, Law's wishing you good luck with that. <laughs> and Brooklyn wishes you good luck with that too, brother. Yeah, there ain't too many to count on our ship. No, there's not too many to count on our ship. So we'd have to count something else. Yes, so a lot of the bars here in Phillipsburg, that if you um, come into their facility and have a beverage or a snack or something, then you can use their Wi-Fi for free. Yes. So you can't use their Wi-Fi for free if you don't purchase something. But hey, you want, a, you want a drink, you want a banana daiquiri anyway, right? Or so, a mango daiquiri. So you go get one of each, sit down, and go live on YouTube. <laughs> That's right. What a better place to do it. Okay, Long Jones says, thongs in the main dining room. I know. What? So, we still have not ran into t to Tony. We still have not ran into Tony and Jenny from La Lita Loca. Uh, or, Don. Every, or Don, but everybody keeps coming up to us. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? I'm like, no. That, I sat with him at the bar a while ago. I'm like, we're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, people say they've seen us and them everywhere they go, but never all us together. Yeah. And uh, one one guy says, uh, yeah, Tony and Don said they're going to look out for you. Yeah. <laughs> said, okay, we'll count on that. <laughs> like they'll be walking around looking out for us, right? They don't even know what we look like. I don't think. <laughs> Um, so this little bar we're sitting in, it's really, really cute. Um, Law Jones says his room number is on yesterday's eight. Oh, really? Oh my gosh! Who, who put that? Who put their room number? 
I know Tony's messed up and done that before. Was it him or Don? I can't believe that Tony did that again because he did that before and he was like, and I had the strangers never knocking on his door. Well, we're not going to do it. Yeah, strangers knocking at the door at all hours of the night. Just say hi, Tony. We might put a note in his mailbox out there by his door and say, mm-hmm. hey, we're going to see journeys. We're going to yeah. be here and there. Um. Oh, Tony did it again. <laughs> <laughs> they usually get out at the porch. Jenny stays in the casino most days. Yes. That is true, Eddie, yes. Yeah. Um, and we still have not seen Jenny in We've the We've passed through the casino yet. many times. Yeah. Seen it and I go to the casino intentionally just so if I can see her, but I don't ever see her. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is Eddie Lugo say? Oh, no, don't go to his room. Oh, no, no. we would never do that. We yeah, would no, never, no. ever, ever knock on somebody. And, you know, when we did the Cruise Critic, oh, hi, Journey Away. It's mm. so nice to have you with us. Hey, Reggie. Hi, Cheryl. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. That mango daiquiri's kicking in. Yeah, already. the mango daiquiri's kicking in. Already. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, about knocking on people's doors. Yeah. Just don't I don't remember what I was going to say. She walked around putting a couple of magnets on some people's doors last night. Yeah, that's not that's not interfering with them. If they know who did it, they go over and they pick it up and go, see that journey. <laughs> who put this sticker on her door? Well, it's probably them, yeah. I know what I want to say. Yeah. We left the house with how many subscribers? Uh, 11. 11, 11. We left the 11, house. 11, 11. We that's left right. the house with 11, 11. 11, 11. And we're cu- currently up to like 100. 11, 22. 11, 26. 11, 26. 11, 26. Right. 26. Yeah. So we have a bunch of new subscribers that when we get home, um, hopefully they're going to pop into our lives and learn us a little bit. But um, everybody's so sweet. Yeah, we've had a good time with everybody here. Uh, Journey Waste is saying, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Eddie Lugo says, laugh out loud. Kick it in. Kick it in. Kick the door in. No, I, I would never intrude on someone's privacy like that. I, the, I don't know what I was going to say. When we did the cruise critic, um, the other lady that was doing the cabin call, she says, just go down to my cabin and knock on the door and tell my husband to give you this and give you that, whatever it was I was going for. I was like, no. And then I ended up forgetting the room number, so then I didn't feel bad about not doing it. But, yeah, we don't knock on people's doors. Well, we're glad you're joining us here. It's 10 o'clock here, in, uh, 10 15 here in St. Martin. Yeah, ten fifteen here in St. Martin, and we're having daiquiris. Oh, he says no. The drink is kicking in, not oh. kicking in the door. See, the drink is kicking in. <laughs> it's kicking in, Eddie. It's kicking in. <laughs> we had a great breakfast in the dining room every day so far on this cruise. The food's been really good. The wait staff's been really good. I forget who told us last night that Tony was in the main dining room for dinner. We were in the main dining room for dinner, but there's more than one dining room. There's so. three main dining rooms. Yeah, so you don't know which dining room you may have been in. Right. And the, as you know, the dining room's huge. You can be sitting in a corner and not know who's sitting in the very front of the, of the restaurant. So, uh, that's all I say. Losses. I did say go to his room, but you know what direction he will be coming from. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, have so, a stakeout. So that's okay. So what? what Losses was, have a stakeout. What yeah. was his room number then? He didn't put it up there. Yeah, he did. No, he I think it was C. He said deck eight. We're somebody, on deck eight. Somebody put it up here. Who told me what room he was in? They didn't. They just they said did. he said what room he was in. Yeah, I know. They never said what room number. I I disagree. Okay. You find it. But it was before we talked about Jenny. Right here, his room number was on yesterday's eight day. Oh, yesterday's video. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Don't. See, that's what happens when daiquiris kick that's in. That's when you don't have your glasses on. You can't hear it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie says it's five o'clock somewhere. It's yes, five it o'clock is, Eddie. everywhere, Eddie. When you're on a cruise, yeah, it's five o'clock perpetually. Oh and let me tell you what. I it's deck eight. We're on deck eight. We're on deck eight. Mm-hmm. He said it, it is deck eight, but I don't remember. Well, they're on deck eight. We're forward, so. We just need to scope the hallways. Yeah. I can walk down the hallway and look at their name because you know your name is on the outside of camera. We have an odd numbered room. So if he has an odd numbered room, all we got to do is watch this side. Yeah. If he has an even numbered room, we'll have to stalk him from the other hallway. <laughs> Which, for some reason, we keep walking to the wrong side of the hall anyway. Every time we go back to our cabin, like, don't! We're on the even numbers. We got to go back to the odd numbers. <laughs> Well, last night we watched, um, they had the parrots in the piazza. That's right. So we've seen this lady before we've been on, uh, the, when we were on the Caribbean Princess. She brought uh, two huge, one gold call, one uh, blue? blue and gold, a scarlet call, yeah. a blue call, um, two uh, 
to some kind of cockatoo little ones. Little golf cockatoos. Yeah, golfing, yeah. And, and then they had a big cockatoo. The big cockatoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then two, four, yeah. I thought there was one more, but anyway, mm -hmm. we forgot what it was. And we've seen her little show she does with them before, so. And she, it's pretty cool. It's the same show again. I did so. record it, so I think I could put it up. At it's just her talking. Her. Yeah, you won't hear her talking because I think, was there, oh yeah, there wasn't no music. Mm -hmm. There was no music, it was just her talking. So we'll see if we can get that out. Yeah. It's pretty neat. But you know, there's just not enough time in the day. Yeah. It's like we're busy constantly. So, can somebody tell me if Kurt and Marsha are feeling better? Yeah, how's Kurt and Marsha? Did they get their yeah. show going again this week? I know that we saw Mike Grillis the other day, and he said he was feeling better. Yes, for all y'all who did not know, we did see Michael yesterday mm -hmm. here on here. On our little live feed that we did. I don't think that was yesterday. I think it was the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, are they saying? Yes. Yes, I'm dead. pulling my hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is Law Jones say? Uh, Law says yes. No. Right here. That's Mark Sharp. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark Sharp. He says, says just to let you guys know that I will be watching you guys later on tonight on their webcam. Please have a good day. Please be safe. Love you guys so much. We love Martin you Sharp. too, Mark Sharp. Love you too, brother. Salute's out, baby dog. Yeah. Salute to Mark Sharp. <laughs> and uh, Law Jones says they sounded better today than they did yesterday okay so they, did they have their morning show this morning then i take it that's what you mean kurt was on this morning and marcia is at work oh. okay mm -hmm. all right good if he's back doing the show then he's definitely getting better yeah it's a good sign Journey kurt marcia are, are better good yes, excellent yes yep. so we're, we're glad to hear that mm -hmm. Yeah, Kurt, we need to have to get better, otherwise we're going to have to buy a bottle of this mystery <laughs> stuff out here, this snake oil, <laughs> have a sense of Virginia, <laughs> <laughs> have a sense to you and say, here, drink this, we'll be better. No, but uh, we were walking around shopping and I thought of Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. They had a whole package of, um, a whole package of um, hot sauces, different hot sauces from the, Car yeah. from the Caribbean. I, I thought of... Uh, Hey Jeff, try this out. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what milk tastes? It's always tasting that stuff. <laughs> Is this safe for human consumption? Let us know. Duke's got me milk and it's super exciting. <laughs> so we're, we're, oh, what's this? Journey awaits. Uh, on one of our Disney cruises, Kendra Wilkinson was on the same boat. Oh wow. Who's that? She's somebody famous, I guess. <laughs> I don't know who she is. Kendra, Kendra Wilkinson. Yeah, tell us who that is, Reggie. That name sounds really familiar to me. Yeah, I, I forget things sometimes. You tell me, and they'll be like, "Oh, yeah, of course, I know that." But the cruise director on this, uh, the entertainment director on this ship, uh, yes. he wants to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with us. So that's pretty exciting. He says the next sea day, he'll find us, and we can all sit down and do an interview with him. That's so fun. He says that he loves doing it with YouTube channels. So. Yeah, not too many of them take him up on it though. Mm -hmm. That's so, what he said. Not too many take so him up. We're, we're going to do it. So we're. Tomorrow we hope to get a recording with the uh, crew. He's not the cruise director. He's the cruise entertainment entertainment director. director. Yeah, the entertainment director. So on our little, little live morning show, they have him and the cruise director Matt uh, talking back and forth. We do here. Yeah, but I tell you, we had, um, seven floors the other day did not have any water, and they fixed it within just a few hours, which was really really nice. Yep. Uh, we were not one of the floors that was affected by it, but Chet's sister was on deck twelve and. Uh, Deck, yeah. or deck 11, yeah, and they, they didn't have water, but they, they rectified it quite quickly. Really, really quick, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mark Sartre says, see you, like, Journey, I have an idea for you guys. Have it once a week. We do a live call, maybe to the chef's table, and just talk about food. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay, so, yeah, we can definitely do that. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Um, so let me read that again. So we have a sea leg journey. That's what yes. I meant to say there. I have an idea for you guys. I have it once a week. We do a live call. Welcome to the chef's table, and we just talk about food. Oh yeah, because we did Christmas. We did Christmas, so when we get back, we can definitely do that. And we wanted to do the chef's table on the ship, but it was sold out. It was sold out. But they're having a huge um, casino blackjack tournament, and um, they probably reserve all the specialty dinings early for that because it, it's a huge group. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they're winning though. We hear that a lot of people are winning. I don't play, but they do say they're winning. Okay. But so the casinos always got some people in there, but it's not super crowded like a lot of times you see mm -hmm. casinos usually are. Nor packed. is the cigarette smoke very bad. Yeah, usually you can find a casino by looking for a cloud of smoke through the hall. You know, oh, can you follow the smoke to get to the casino? But mm -hmm. not, not on this ship. But. I'm going to say this, and this is not to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that, but I'm going to say it anyway. 
the passengers on the Sky Princess are their daily attire is more how would I want to say more cruise casual than on the Carnival that we saw. Uh, even the bathing suits they're far more modest than on the Princess ship or than on the Carnival ships. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> it was nice to go to the uh, formal night and see all these women in gowns. And you just don't see very many women in gowns on Carnival. Yeah, I don't recall seeing any on yeah. those groups. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little more dressier up here on Princess. Yeah, but. it's a lot dressier. Overall, it's a great time. The pools are always full. Mm -hmm. People in the pools. And it, the water is so cold in the pool. They're in the pool and they're like, ooh, it's cold, but they're in there. <laughs> they're going to swim anyway. They don't care. I may jump in that aft pool myself today. That's usually my favorite spot. Well, I sit and put my feet in it. Cools my body off to put my feet in it. So we're definitely going to have to do that. Mark, Mark, you may have to remind us again when we get home about that idea. Because we're definitely going to do that. All right. So... We just walked around the port here, did some videoing of a little bit of it. The water taxi over here, and then we head back. We did that whole port on that other side where anybody can get to if you come off the ship. Just so people can see what it's like and how long it takes to get there. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Well, where we're sitting at right now, we can clearly see our ship. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's right there. I mean, we're looking right at it. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it wasn't for this, it looks like it's, you know, anchored like just a few feet offshore is what it looks like. Yeah, there's four <laughs> ships here this morning. One of them is a celebrity, mm -hmm. one of them's ours. Another one is a... Uh, P&O. Yes, P&O, Britannia. And the other one is a... Is it Oceana? It's a small ship. Yes, I think it was an Oceana. And then there's two um, luxury yachts here. Oh, so. And uh, the crew... I saw the crew... Um, you know, the, the passengers, the passengers over that and I got off the ship. And I saw the crew standing right there by their little gangway, and I counted eight crew members right there. And none of them, they were all just had white t-shirts and khaki shorts. So I'm sure that they're, they're just, you know, the lower uh, crew members. So I would really like to know how many crew members it takes to manage one of those luxury um, yachts. Cause it's, it looked amazing. Oh yeah. Okay. That looks like our chat is wound up there. Yeah, so we, we appreciate you guys stopping in and telling us hi. And um, so after today, we have two days at sea, so you won't hear from us again until we get home. Unless we get lucky. We won't get lucky. I always leave room for getting lucky. <laughs> Kendra is a reality TV. Oh, she's a, oh, okay. A reality TV act. Yeah, oh, okay. like some of those love boats, love, love is blind and that kind of thing. And Okay. What's that other one there on a deserted island or whatever? Thanks, Martin Sharp. Keep Thanks. collecting news stories for us. <laughs> right on. We'll, we'll keep on doing that, Law. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for being here with us. Yep. So, until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Okay. No, that wasn't it. It wasn't. It was this button down here. <laughs>